Yo, what's going on guys? Back with another video again. So welcome back to my channel. Alright, so uh A lot of people have been saying that Aeneas Euro is really bad and he needs buffs and all that because he depends why is my character like animation glitching I'm just gonna reset. But uh, a lot of people have been saying that uh he's really bad because he depends on his like whatever this is and it has a really bad hitbox and all that. But like I'm gonna show you guys that that's not actually true because first of all this uh, little metal rod thing he has I think it's like I don't know what it's called but uh, this is really OP even though in like matches the hitbox is kind of like weird that's because of how strong it gets and sometimes uh, wait when I use enhancement cool, yes. I'm pretty sure the hits oh. actually kind of slow down even though it does like abnormal damage it also has a higher range. It has the same range as like these projection swords uh, when you get the the cooldown. But it does have the same range as these, and the amount of combos you can do with this is insane. Not only that, but uh, the swords also have an auto track. Hit. Like, it, um, when you throw the knives or the swords, it auto tracks, and it does really good damage, like uh, 10 damage with knives and 15 damage with the swords. I'm pretty sure. And okay, uh, Tosaka, the way you use Tosaka is her bullets actually curve. So you don't want to like try to snipe people with it. You want to uh, uh, like what I do is I when I when I'm doing a combo, I when, like, when I'm getting hit or something, when I like come out of a combo, I use Tosaka from the air up. So the bullet goes straight down and then I can continue with another combo of mine. So if I do get hit, I use Tosaka, then one, two, three, I messed up, but uh, you get the point. But uh, Shiro's Awakening is, I mean, uh, Shiro, I mean, Shiro's base mode is not that weak, because because uh, of the reasons I just said, and Tonus. also, oh. alright, so these swords are beautiful, dude. Like, easily amazing. Like, look at this damage, dude. They're literally just like two swords. Look at this damage. And uh throw. That's blockable, so you like whenever I use the throwing swords thing, I always make sure they're in the air first and they're not expecting it. Or I'll do it when they're like in a in a combo. Let's wait for the cooldown to be over so I can show you guys a combo of what that might be. I'm not really good with combos and stuff. I use them in matches, but I don't really know how to explain what I do. I just like mess around with them. Alright, so let's and really quick. Oh. One. All right, messed up. Alrighty. All right. Let's go to our different one. One, two, three. One, two. Projection. One, two, three. One. Like this is not weak, dude. This is busted. No other sword character. I mean, like no other sword character could do that. Like, just M ones. No other sword character could do that using just M ones. All right. My mouse messed up, dude. Row Ias is just a shield to shield you from everything. It's really good. Sometimes, uh, I think it's a bug, but some stuff get through it. Like, uh, one time I Kakashi threw Kunai's and it actually went through. And some, uh, like, when a Zoro hit me from the back, they could actually, like, hit me. Maybe it's not a bug, maybe it's a bug, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's how I use Shiro. It's not a bad character, not at all. And everyone knows how to use Awakening, because Awakening is simple to figure out. And it's really good. I, uh... I uh, two stocked an Aizen, like like right before making this video. I like, literally just two stocked an Aizen and came back. Whenever an Aizen uses, whenever any character uses it, like ultimate, like a spirit bomb or uh, Aizen's crew Hitsugi, all you want to do is row Aiz. Because in this form, you can literally walk around and look how long it lasts. Like this is busted, dude. This is literally busted. You can use moves and you can just like walk around doing it. Not only that, but the sword ball is auto track. You get him in one on one combo and GG. That that's grabs, dude. Uh, the legendary weapon part is kind of annoying because uh, let's say you get a weapon and you don't know what it does or like in the like the heat of the moment. It's kind of weird, but uh, I'm pretty sure it has like a bit of auto tracking on it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And sometimes sword volley glitches. I'm not sure if it's a glitch or not, but uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Like, um, one time it only worked like three times for me and then it stopped. I don't know if that's a glitch or not, or you're only supposed to use Sword Volley three times in Pro Awakening. But yeah, it's not a bad character. Not at all.
Alright, let's play some ranked matches. Wait, where'd the person go, dude? Wait, what? Am I playing by myself? Alright, well, that's a free win. Okay. Uh. Alright, dude. I mean, if they were paired up with me, that means their rank was like super high. I don't know why they're like, sacrificing the rank, but um, thanks. I don't know, dude. J Squad.